What up, though? DJ Star back with another on feed video, and today we're discussing one of my, well, not necessarily one of my favorite silhouettes of the Air Jordan line, but a silhouette all the same. But before we do that, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also, please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers in the next 30 days, so please help your boy out. Let your fam and friends know that there's somebody out there else doing this with a unique take. So with that being said, today we're discussing the Air Jordan 9, and this particular colorway was known as the Pearl Blue. Now this released uh, February 9th, 2019 for a retail price of $190. It is currently reselling on StockX for about $300 and something. So you're looking at about, about a, almost $200 over retail for the pair. I don't think it's worth it. And if you got a dead stock pair, you can sell it on StockX for like $235. So after taxes and fees on that one, you're looking at about retail, about $206. So in my opinion, it's not worth it. So with that being said, let's go over the shoe. We'll start at the tongue. And as you notice, the tongue has a, that pearl blue or really midnight navy or just navy. And it is outfitted with the Air Jordan done in that university blue, which is Carolina blue on both tongues. Remember the tongue on the eyes is a sock style tongue. So it's all <clears throat> um, stitched down to the strobe board of the shoe to give you a lockdown feel with the sock booty type. And this is all nylon done in all white. Very, very clean in my opinion. And then this is the first shoe to introduce the um, actual speed lace system. If you see right here, you got these little blue nodules or lace loops right here done in plastic. And it's designed to give you a tight lockdown, so when you pull it right here, it pulls up and locks down the shoe for you, make them even tighter. This shoe is a really slender shoe, so I really don't get in them too often, but I do enjoy the look and the colorway. Now remember, this shoe was designed by Tinker Hatfield in 1994 during Jordan's first retirement. Jordan did not wear the shoe on the court as he was retired from off basketball, but he did have the shoe outfitted for his um, baseball days into a cleat. And this colorway is done pretty dope. If you go to the lateral side of the shoe, you'll see the all upper is all done in all white, very clean, not sale, but just all white. This leather is synthetic, so you can feel it to the touch. It is synthetic, but it's, it's nice. I mean, like I said, the shoe is very tight because of the lockdown in the booty and it's slender, but it's still a comfortable fit and it's a nice, nice look to it. Then when you get to the mid guard, the mud guard of the shoe, You'll see it's done in all pearl blue, navy blue, patent leather, a thin cut, but it's still really nice. It wraps all the way around the back of the shoe, all the way up to the heel, and then you get to the outsole, which is done in white, white under here, white, with your University Blue, Carolina Blue Jumpman on the side. So I thought that was a dope touch with those hits, but of course, I don't really get into Carolina Blue like that, so most of the time, I style this stuff with my um, Detroit Tiger stuff, especially my white and blue stuff. If you go to the medial side of the shoe, you'll also notice more of the same. Synthetic white leather, patent leather thin cut, but done in that uh, pearl blue, pearl blue hits right here, and white from the outsole. Now, the dopest touch of the shoe, in my opinion, was how they did the heel, which is right here. So when you get to the booty system, it is locked down, but it's locked down with the strap from back here, reverse the heel. And then when you get to the back of the shoe, you'll notice that they got that University Blue in the Globe with the Jumpman. I thought that was a dope touch. And a stitch clean white 23 on top of that patent leather. And that's what really set the shoe off for me in my opinion. This is how they stitched that in. It's done very clean. And then you got that gloss paint over the uh, midsole that matches perfectly with the patent leather and that pearl blue. So they did a really clean job on this shoe. I don't wear this often again because it's a slender shoe and it's, you know, comfortable for a while, but not all day. You get into the actual tech specs of the shoe. The Air Jordan 9 does have an air unit in the, in the um, toe box and it has an air, air unit in the heel. They're both encapsulated in the, um, the Phyline midsole, so I don't really feel them that often when I wear them, but they don't feel like bricks when touching the ground. But I can't feel the air, but they are air units there. And then last but not least, when you get into the last part of it, you got the classic Air Jordan 9 outsole. Um, not a fan of the outsole either. I know what they was trying to go for, but I mean, it just looks okay to me. The best part is the jump man that's on the heel that's set off in that uh, University of Carolina blue. I thought that was a dope touch. But other than that, I mean, I don't really say the traction's all that well. I haven't played in these ever, so I can't say what they feel like on the court, but the traction scheme of things. I understood the storytelling, but I just never really liked it. I thought they could have did a lot better with that. 
Um, but Tinker never really drops the ball. And Tinker Hatfield did design the Jordan 3 all the way up to the Jordan 15. So if you got to say a miss, a miss for Tinker probably was the 15. Everything other than that was pretty solid. So that's it for the shoe. I just brought them out because I wanted to, of course, put on my um, Detroit Tigers gear today and decided to go ahead and bring them out and give you all a quick view of them. But with that being said, um, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And like I said, please comment, like, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of 30 days. So with your help, I can do that. But everybody else who's already subscribed, man, I thank y'all so much. Y'all y'all keep me going, y'all keep me doing it, you keep me busy, and I really appreciate that. Because I'm a sneakerhead myself, and I wanted to get in the game and do something a little different than some of my other cats out there and YouTubers that's doing it. So, with that being said, love, peace, and prosperity, I'm gone.